much is uh, the lamp and the fondue skewers? Uh, the, the which, sorry? The fondue, the fondue skewers and the lamp as well. Um, two pounds? Two pounds? Lovely. Did you want the fondue set as well? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it was two pounds oh, for the light oh, and then and oh, one pound fifty each for each of those sets. So I've got a really nice small haul to show you. Not a huge amount, but I've got some interesting bits. Uh, one particular thing that I really, really love. Hello everyone. We're off to a jumble sale today. It is that season. Coming into winter, boot sales are ending, no more yard sales. Sad face, because I love my yard sales. Um, but yeah, jumbles are abundant again. We saw this one advertised, it's fairly near to us. So we thought, you know, we've got a free afternoon. Let's go and check it out. Before we go though, I hesitate to mention the C word. It's only just over two months away. Christmas, that is. I know, I've said it. We haven't even had Halloween yet. Um, <laughs> but let, let's talk about Christmas because we are starting to think about, um, you know, party season or buying a nice gift for somebody. And I've very kindly been sent a couple more items from Anna Louisa Jewellery. So I'm going to show you what I got and you can see that I'm already wearing the little um, heart necklace that I got back in February and, um, and I've loved this. I've worn this several times throughout the year. So they very, very kindly sent me two pieces to match. So I've got the earrings with the little hearts on and the bracelet as well. So I've just popped them on to show you. So these are the little heart earrings and this is the bracelet. Now I was able to choose what I wanted and I chose these particularly because they matched my necklace. I don't usually choose bracelets. I don't wear a lot of bracelets. Um, but when we went to the eBay Awards, um, I bought some really nice Anna Luisa jewellery to wear with my outfit. And when I got dressed, I thought, do you know what's missing? I, I don't have a bracelet. I don't have a really nice bracelet to wear to go out. I suppose the thing is, when you work at home, you don't generally go out that much. <laughs> so you kind of, you spend the days in jumpers and jeans and t-shirts and jeans and um, you very rarely get dressed up. So I don't think about those things very often until those times when there is a really lovely occasion like the eBay Awards. And that's when I realised I really don't have those lovely things to accessorise an outfit because I just don't do it that much. And I tend to thrift more than I buy new these days. So it's just not something that crosses my mind. So that was the reason why I chose the bracelet, which is absolutely beautiful. And although it matches my necklace, it's such a non-fussy design that it will match most things or most jewellery that I would wear. So that's another reason why I chose this design. And then I just thought that the earrings would be a lovely accompaniment to the necklace as well. But also I can wear them at any time because although they're really pretty, they're not necessarily a really special design that you would only wear if you were dressing up. So I can wear them every day and I can wear them with other jewellery as well. So that's the reason why I chose these. So I've got a lovely matching set now, but also I can mix and match. I've been wearing Anna Luisa jewellery for years now and I absolutely love them. The one thing that I love the most about them, other than their beautiful designs, is the fact that they are a sustainable company. They are a climate neutral company. 
the jewellery comes packaged in a cardboard box. The pieces used to come packaged in these little pouches, which are really useful for storing your jewellery in and also for travelling with. But they have recently changed their packaging and they now come in these really cute little boxes which look like match boxes. I think this is actually much better because once you start buying several pieces for yourself, you end up with lots of these and then some of them end up being thrown away because you can't use all of them. So changing to the cardboard packaging is much more sustainable. So I'm glad that they've done that. As you can see inside, they offer a two year warranty on their pieces. And as I mentioned in my last video with the earrings that I'm giving away, every piece is hypoallergenic. So if you have a nickel allergy, which is what I forgot to say, I kept calling it a metal allergy, but if you have a nickel allergy, then Anna Luisa are brilliant for that. I've struggled with a nickel allergy most of my life. Um, I've always had to wear either gold, silver or plated earrings. Um, which has been a bit of a pain. So the fact that I can wear Ana Luisa earrings and have absolutely no problems with them whatsoever, even if they're not gold or silver, is amazing. So if you suffer with that as well, then Ana Luisa are fantastic. If you fancy treating yourself or you're thinking about buying a lovely gift for somebody else, then I have a link in the description box below Click on that and you'll get up to 20% off on their website. Right, let's go to this jumble. Hello. How much is that, please? <laughs> Afternoon. Hello, are you alright? Yeah, good, thank you. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. Yeah, she'll be back. How much you know for the fault? Take the two vases and the mug. Yeah, 50p each to 150. Yeah, lovely. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think that's going to help the price, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we should sell it. They're pretty, aren't 
Yeah, good. Like, like that. Like play. Right, I've got one, two, three, four, four, six, four, 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 yeah, my son's in the middle this time, oh, haven't I? He's a bit older, so he can do money now. I'll take those two as well. Yeah, 50p each. I've got two pounds there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's have a look at the mugs. I've got a Starbucks one. Very good, I think. There's a couple of dinner sets. That's a wood and sons. Thank you. Yeah. Come back and it might have gone, I know. Have a look. the lamp and the fondue skewers. Uh, the, the which, sorry? The, the fondue, fondue skewers and the lamp as well. Um, two pounds? Two pounds? Lovely. Did you want the fondue set as well? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it was two pounds oh, for the light and then and oh, one pound fifty each for each of those sets. There's two sets there. A pound fifty for both sets. Now, pound fifty each. So it's three quid for the lot and two pound for that. Okay. So it's five or all together. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, there should be five there. Hopefully they counted right. Thank you. Well, we enjoyed that. There wasn't a great deal there for us, which is probably a good thing, but we enjoyed the trip out and I picked up a few bits and I think it's probably more quality over quantity. And that's what I'm aiming for at the moment. So I'm looking for things that really stand out to me and I'm only buying things if I really feel like I just can't leave them behind, either for that price or just because I really like it. So I've got a really nice small haul to show you. Not a huge amount, but I've got some interesting bits 
uh, one particular thing that I really, really love. OK, I'm going to break tradition and I'm going to show you the best thing first. And it's this. Gorgeous amber glass. That was the thing that caught my eye first. In the shape of a shell. And when I picked it up, I thought, oh, maybe it's a vase. And I thought maybe it sits like this and it's like a little bud vase. So I got it home and I realised it doesn't actually sit like that. Um, it either sits like this or on its side. And I actually prefer the look of it on its side, to be honest. But I thought if it's not a vase and it's got this opening here, what is it? So on closer inspection and in better light, I found, now let me see if we can get it so that you can see it, just about the engraved Wedgwood mark just there. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I did a Google search on it and it turns out to be a paperweight. So it dates back to the 1970s and it was designed by Ronald Stennett Wilson, who designed quite a lot of the Wedgwood glassware around that time. And it's absolutely stunning. Now, funnily enough, when I did spot it, I thought that reminds me of a piece I already have, which is Wedgwood. So that really should have um, given me an indication right from the outset. Um, but obviously I wasn't sure until I got it home. Um, but I'll show you that. So this is the paperweight that I already own. And it is a little amber glass snail. I found this in a charity shop several years ago and I actually paid about six pounds for it I think at the time um, because I loved it so much. So I now have an amber glass shell to match. So yes I am going to add this to my paperweight collection that I seem to have going on. I can't part with it, I love it so much. So I'm really really pleased with this. 50p, absolute bargain. Potentially, the people at the Jumble actually thought that was a vase too, because it was on the table next to all their vases. And directly next to that was this little vase, this little smoked glass vase. It's marked France on the bottom. And this one was only 50p too. So I picked this one up as well. And the only other piece of glassware that I picked up at the Jumble was this piece of chance glass plate tray I don't know what would you call it I've had this swirl design before and that it's quite popular it does seem to sell quite well um, it's 1960s so you know it's had some use and it does have some very fine little marks on it but nothing too major um, it's still got most of its gilding on the edge so yeah, I took a chance on it. Boom, boom. <laughs> and here's that C word again. It's a Starbucks Christmas mug. These are always a really good staple. And um, yeah, everybody loves a Christmas mug and Starbucks Christmas mugs sell really well. So whenever I see them for a good price, I always pick up a Starbucks Christmas mug. And I think I've had this one two or three times over the years and it never sticks around so I got that I think that was 50p as well and then I spotted this pair of terracotta bowls on the table and I didn't pick them up straight away but I kept coming back to them I really love the design inside they're very Mediterranean they're probably like little hors d'oeuvre or snack bowls bowls for olives or nuts or something like that I don't know but they do have a stamp on the bottom and I haven't done any research on them yet so I'm unsure of the maker I think they were 50p each and they were just so pretty I couldn't leave them behind I think this one's my favourite 
Now, who remembers the saga of the fondue pot? This is the pot in question. I picked it up in one of my local charity shops. And at first I wasn't sure if it was a fondue pot. I mean, I suppose really the shape of it is a good indication, but I picked it up because I thought it was so pretty. I absolutely love the design. And I thought if nothing else, it would make a really pretty decorative item in a vintage kitchen. Um, so I bought it, but then I got it home and I did a bit of research and I confirmed it is in fact a fondue pot. And I thought, okay, well, maybe it'll sell just as it is. I was filming at the time when I picked this up and I went through all of my footage and there definitely wasn't anything that I missed. But then I went back a week or so, maybe a couple of weeks later, and I found this the base to the fondue pot with the accessories inside, the burners, etc. Ta da! <laughs> so, my fondue set was almost complete, but I didn't have any fondue skewers. I've been back to that charity shop a couple of times and I kept thinking, well, maybe they had the skewers as well and maybe they'll put them out separately at some point. And maybe they did and maybe they sold them, but I, I never saw them. Um, so potentially there just weren't any at all. Perhaps you can see where this is going. At the jumble sale, sitting on the table, was a number of skewers for a fondue set. So I've got one set that's boxed, lovely vintage fondue set. And I have another set in the same design without a box. And then I have a different set without a box. These ones are rather nice actually. These ones are slightly more flimsy. These ones are really robust. So it's a bit like the universe has been delivering this fondue set to me piece by piece. <laughs> so now I'm going to put the loose set with my fondue pot and base. And now I have a complete fondue set. So I can bundle all of this together and sell it as a vintage fondue set. Hurrah! And as an added bonus, I have two more sets that I can sell individually. Now this may be a fail. It's an Ikea lamp, um, but when I opened it up, I thought that because it was with its box and original instructions and, and it seemed to have its plastic on the bottom still, I wrongly assumed that it was brand new. I mean, it looks like it's hardly been used. But when we got it home, Nick went to put some batteries in, realised it already had batteries in that had leaked. So I was going to give it a good clean out. We'll test it um, and hopefully it'll be OK. Um, this will probably be something that we use for ourselves. Um, it doesn't have a huge amount of resale value, but, you know, you can't go wrong with an IKEA lamp, really. And I just thought it was really fun. So, yeah, fingers crossed, this does actually work <laughs> once we've cleaned it out. I'm sure it will. So that's everything that I found at the Jumble. Nick picked up a few things as well. I don't know if he's going to do a, a separate haul. He may do. It was worth going for two reasons, really. Firstly, I've completed my fondue set. And um, secondly, I found that lovely Wedgwood paperweight, um, which... Yeah, I'm not going to part with. I really love. So I've added that to my collection. Let me know what your favourite item was. 
and um, if you're interested in anything that you've seen today other than the paperweight <laughs> anything that you've seen today just drop me a message either on instagram or um, email and both of those links are below not in the comments because that gets lost so it's either email or instagram so i will love you and leave you if you're interested in purchasing anything from Anna Luisa, then don't forget to use my link below because you'll get up to 20% off using that link. And as I say, I can highly recommend them. Um, I wouldn't recommend anything that I didn't personally use myself or that I didn't really love. Um, and I do love Anna Luisa, so yeah. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. And if you're not subscribed, and you enjoy this content, then please think about subscribing so that you won't miss another video. I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.